hi guys so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog i oh i haven't even taken my seatbelt off i just parked and i'm at school now today is a friday so there is no traffic and it's also kind of a chill day in the lab so i feel like it would be a good time to take you guys along so i'm hoping to vlog all weekend but we'll have to see how much footage i get i feel like i always think i'm gonna get more footage recently and i actually cut it down and then i'm like wow i really didn't get that much footage so anyway i feel like doing a day in the life of research is really interesting for those of you who might be interested in doing research and kind of just interested in what I do in the lab don't forget to subscribe and comment down below if you like vlogs like this and if you want more vlogs or research vlogs for me so I'll see you guys in the lab hey guys welcome to the day in the life of a PhD candidate it's so weird saying candidate I used to be a PhD student and then I passed my qualifying exams and now I'm officially a PhD candidate here you can see that I am using my still brand planner to plan out my day and I am such a planner girl I love writing down my long to-do list for the day and I try to do a weekly plan on either Sunday or Monday and I also have an experimental plan laid out on my Outlook calendar on my computer but my planner normally is where I write all the details and then also my personal to-do list and speaking of to-do list the first thing that I need to do today is analyze some DEXA scans that I took of my mice so I need to walk on over to this DEXA room with this very extremely old chair that looks like it's probably from the 70s so i already did some scans so basically these are x-rays of our mice and in case you aren't familiar with a dexa scan it is dual x-ray absorptometry and this is normally used to diagnose osteoporosis so i am a bone research scientist and i'm primarily focusing on what is going on with our bone cells to make them not work and make bone as well primarily in my project i look at the osteoblasts which are our bone forming cells here you can see that i am analyzing the dexa so this is not a very invasive procedure at all for the mouse so we just put them under anesthesia and we can take an x-ray of them and then they wake up a few minutes later and in this way we can look at their bone mineral density often termed as bmd and this is what you see statistically compared when clinicians are trying to diagnose for osteoporosis and so by doing this we can use our x-rays that we take of our mice and then compare their bone mineral density during different phases of life and different stages of bone development and so after i finished my dexa scans i walked myself over to take care of my mouse children to do some genotyping which i'll do later this week and when you go to the mouse room you have to dress in ppe and this is an old video but that's what it looks like and after that i updated my notebook and that was it hi guys welcome back to the vlog so this is our lab cook outfit check hawaiian theme and balsamic caprese salad it's my accessory who are you wearing today my handbag caprese salad with wooden <laughs> spoon i think my head's cut off i always cut off your head bags <laughs> putting some data into my uh, computer and like wrapping up some analysis stuff that I did on Friday at work and now I just changed and got ready to go to a vineyard because today is Andrea's birthday so I have her little birthday gift and we're heading on over it's supposed to be so hot today I had this whole cute outfit planned and then I feel like I just didn't do laundry in time and the dress that I was gonna wear still needs to dry. Not crazy about the dress, I feel like I've had this forever, but it's also a tank top, which I'm happy about because I feel like it's just going to be crazy hot. I'll try to film a little bit while I'm there, I'm really excited. I do like the vineyard that we're going to and it's pretty close to my house. But yeah, happy birthday to Andrea, I'm very excited. Talk to you guys after.
happy Monday. So we're back in the lab. Before I begin, of course, I have to put my hair back in a George Washington style ponytail because are you really a woman in STEM if you don't have the George Washington ponytail? Anyway, as I said before, I'm going to be doing some genotyping today. So in short, I am doing that through PCR and if you are a STEM student or a STEM major, you probably have done this many times. So it's kind of nice for me to do PCR because I just feel like it's slightly mindless and just easy to do. Listen to my music and set up my samples. After I ran the PCR on my samples, I need to run the gel. And so here you can see me loading the gel. Sorry, this is kind of a bad angle. I couldn't find a good place to record. I am loading the samples that I ran in the PCR machine into my gel. And then you can run the gel and it separates the amplified segments of DNA onto the gel through electrophoresis. So that's basically all I have for you guys today. After that, I just updated my notebook and that was it. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did like this video and comment down below if you guys would like more research vlogs like this. Mm -hmm.